that last shot. We need to get a stop. And, but uh, you know, we spotted them 21 points in the game. It's a tough way to get started on the road here. But Pat's done a great job. Uh, it's a really good basketball team, but I love my team too. We fight tough. Uh, come back to take the lead there. Just couldn't finish it up with a you know, defensive stop down the stretch. Steve, I know you don't have a timeout there, but was that the, the play that you were looking for? Was, was yeah, I mean, you're going to have to make plays at that time. They went and jumped Geo, so, you know, I, I like the look, actually. i got to watch it on film, but, you know, I thought Quasi had a clean look at it. I didn't like the defensive stop. You know, that's what cost us the game. you got to, you know, you got to get out and contest, and he, he can shoot the ball. Um, they hadn't made many threes, so, you know, give them credit. They made a big play at the end, and uh, we had a chance to counter with it, and, uh, you know, I love the quasi. He said, Coach, I was teeing that up, and, and I like that kind of confidence. And he looked good, looked good, but didn't go. Steve, what, what accounted for that small first half? I mean, what did you see that kind of Yeah, I mean, we just, you know, we got down a lot. You know, I didn't like our energy. You know, we had a great practice, too, yesterday. Um, you know, we just uh, just didn't get off to a good start, and they, they played with tremendous energy in the, in the first half. They really did. And, uh, you know, you can't spot a really good team on the road like that. Obviously, 21 points down to take the lead is unbelievable. Like the energy that this team exuded to get get back into the lead, but you got to play better than that uh, against a ranked team with really good players. See the uh, sense of what the locker room was like. Uh, players hanging their heads. I mean, you know, is it gut punching? Well, you know, it's a tough game. So I think after every loss, you know, you, you hang your heads. Um, these guys are tough, though. I love my team. We're resilient, we're tough, and we'll bounce back. That's what we do. And we did it today, too. That game could have got you know, ugly, and it didn't. It, you know, our guys battled. They stayed the course. Again, we're playing elite teams. you got to play elite for 40 minutes. You certainly can't give up leads like that. And we've been doing that on the road, and it's not a good trade. A lot goes into erasing a 21-point deficit. Did you feel like it was more of what you guys did, something Penn State wasn't doing? Is it a little bit of everything? Well, I mean, we played like we played with great energy. I thought our defense, I, mean, I don't know if they scored a field goal until that last one. So, well, I mean, obviously our defense was locked in and we're sharing the game. You know, Jacob Young came off the bench, gave us great energy, uh, which we needed. I thought our bench gave us, you know, some energy. Um, you know, I thought Miles in the second half picked up his pace. And, uh, you know, I thought we played Rutgers basketball in the second half. Unfortunately, you got to play 40 minutes of we didn't do that, and, and that's to their credit too. I mean, they, they're really good, and they're taking away things that we want to do, and uh, um, they did a really good job of making things difficult for us. You held Mar Stevenson nine points. What was the game plan to defend him? Well, I mean, he's really good, as you know. He's one of the best scorers in the league. It's going to be the all-time leading scorer here. So, a guy scores two thousand points. But you know, I thought in two days prep, which we didn't have a lot of time, we, we did a really good job of making his catches deeper and. You know, just making it difficult when he put the ball on the deck. But he's a, he's a problem. He's a really good player. He's a matchup problem for everybody, including us. Two more for Coach. Anybody? Uh, Steve, we reported that uh, the Board of Governors is having a meeting on Friday and uh, you know, that you're getting a contract extension. Does that speak to the faith that Rutgers and Pat has in you? Well, I mean, you, you know, um, one thing that I could tell you, and I've said this a lot, you know, like I love being the head coach at Rutgers. I love my team. Um, you know, I understand the question and stuff, but I'm not at liberty right now to comment on that. Um, but uh, I love Rutgers, and I love my basketball team. And, you know, I love the people at Rutgers, and we've done a really good job. I'm proud of these guys. We built a program that, you know, we come into a place like this, a tough environment, right there with some of the best teams in the country. So appreciate it. I know you have to ask, but you know, it's not the time to make any comments on that. One more, anyone? No? Appreciate it, guys. Thank question you. Question for Miles, anybody? Said that you know, we're down by a lot. You know, just figured out we got to come out and play the second half like 0-0. Zero, zero, and uh, we once won the game. And, you know, kind of just dug us up a grave. And, and now we're going to lay it. This is what we do. You get a feel what the you know, the locker room is like. I mean, how do you kind of move forward and, you know, kind of make sure this loss is a linger? Oh, yeah, definitely right now. I feel like, you know, right now we're at a low. But, you know, we're going to bounce back. You know, my order is low right now. Obviously, just lost our three, uh, game with three pointer but you know, we'll be back in the gym. We got another game. You know, we got to forget about the game. Any more? Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miles.